Thanks for watching Goineers Quick Tips. This is Bruce Schaller on Quick Tip for Thickness Analysis. A lot of designers want to be able to look at the thickness of their part, where it might be the thickest section and where it might be the thinnest. Casted part designers, formed sheet metal designers, um, in particular plastic part designers for injection mold will really benefit from this command. Even machine part designers can use this command to find out the thinnest parts and the thickest parts of their design. So this is how it works. If you have SolidWorks Professional or Premium, you have this functionality. If you don't have SolidWorks Professional or Premium, go back and search for my Design for Manufacturability Express part thickness functionality. It's not as complete as this, but it does offer you some thickness analysis as well. So this is the one built into the SolidWorks Professional or Premium. You click on the Thickness Analysis under the Evaluate tab, and you can put in the, thick, the target range for the thickness and the thick limit range. I usually will treat corners with a zero thickness, especially for plastic injection molded parts. And I will usually go in and, and put it on more of a discrete than continuous so I can really focus in easier on the areas that actually might have sink problems that are too thick. So in this case, I'll use these ranges and I'll say calculate. So this can take up you know, 30 seconds to a minute or two on depending on how big your part is. It'll also offer us the ability to go in there and save it as a report. So I'll show you how to do that as well. But for the beginning, you're really just looking at what you might identify as being the thinnest section of the part and the thickest section of the part and putting those parameters in here to, to calculate it on. Through here, it should be done in a second. And there we have a thickness analysis. So what is this showing me? This is really showing me where my part in here can be too thick. If I want to see where it could be too thin, I'd have to go back and run it again with thin regions. But using discrete and four values, I can really see where the thickness regions stand out in it. And I can cursor over and kind of see the, the node at which that thickness is. So it gives me a value right there. It's kind of a neat feature that they've snuck in here on you. The other thing is, is you can go in and you can save this to a report. It has some of the best report writing of all of our software. I can go into the options and I can actually go in there and tell it to do whatever views I want. I added all my views to this report. So I can add all the views, I can go in there and tell it where I want the report to be put and what the report folder name is going to be. And then I can go ahead and save it. And I'll open this one after the report is made. I can actually also save those reports to the eDrawings program as well. So it goes through and does all the different views for me and then brings up the report. Not only will it give me my thickness analysis, it tells me my parameters that I put in, which deviation values it was searching for, the analysis details, plus all the images from each view are in there. So it really lets me see where my part might be too thick and where it might have molding issues such as sink problems. So really nice analysis tool. I can even go in and look at mass properties in here and weigh my part if I was looking at getting costing for how much this plastic part might weigh. Thanks for watching. Any comments feel free to uh, give them to us so we know how you like this, if this was useful or not. Thanks for watching. Go Engineer Quick Tips.